five. Thank you, Liz. Well, in getting students ready for distance learning, having a space at home is key. And joining us today is Dr. Jasmine Neverjani. She is a pediatric ER doctor at Palm Beach Children's Hospital. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Great. Well, first, tell us why it's so important to have a space for learning. So, you know, getting kids ready back to go back to virtual learning, it's really important to kind of cultivate a safe environment that kids feel encouraged to learn. And um, a lot of the times this can be difficult, especially uh, if parents don't have a isolated room in their home. Um, establishing a, set, a sort of routine for their kids will get them encouraged and excited about going back to school. Um, it's really important to start off with some routines, so getting the kids up, making sure they brush their teeth, getting them ready like they're going to school, establishing a safe place where they can go and start to learn, whether it be a big table um, in the dining room or a small uh, room where they can set up a quiet space. It's important to kind of get them excited about going back to school and establishing a routine is kind of a way that we encourage kids to get you know excited about getting back to school. So again, so what should parents make sure to have in this space? So uh, the most important thing is a comforting, safe environment, so whether, um, and one that's quiet, so one that kids can feel um, safe, safe um, studying and learning. Uh, good internet signal is really important. I mean, kids are doing a lot of virtual learning, so making sure they are able to connect with their teachers and their students if they do have questions. And then also uh, being available as a parent, you know, it can get frustrating for kids um, mm -hmm. to work primarily online, so making sure you're available to answer any questions that they may have um, okay. if they do get frustrated or struggle with the topic. Um, so it's important to note that many stu uh, schools, rather, in our area already reopened for in-person learning, but some are being actually told to quarantine after possible COVID-19 exposure in the classroom. So can you just talk about briefly what parents need to do before dropping their kids off at school? So quarantining is very, very important, especially if you are at risk or have a child that's at risk. So if you are asked to quarantine, um, making sure you quarantine for the full amount of time, so that's 14 days, um, to make sure that you and your child are both asymptomatic. If it's possible, getting tested before going back to school. Um, there's plenty of COVID testing sites um, in the West Palm Beach area that are still open or going to your pediatrician if they do offer COVID testing and making sure you are negative before going back into the school environment. Uh, making sure that your kids know to wash their hands for at least 20 seconds um, as many times as possible during the day. So that's singing the happy birthday song twice. Mm -hmm. um, and then also, you know, wearing protective gear. So making sure to wear a mask when you are back at school, socially distancing when possible. I know this can be hard with children in this environment, but all of those things will help contain COVID and stop the spread of it in our schools. Okay, we appreciate that advice. Dr. Jasmine Neverjani yeah. with Palm Beach Children's Hospital. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. We're going to turn things